Hey guys, it's Randomizer here. Today we're going to be talking about an, an entrepreneur-like guy. Um, this guy is named Dave Portnoy. Y'all may know him as the pretty, he's pretty much the owner of the popular um, sports brand. It's a little, I'm pretty sure it's controversial, but but we'll get more into that as the video goes on. But he um, he's pretty much the owner of Barstool Sports, which is basically like a, a, a it's like a sports um, broadcast. And um, it, it's also a podcast as well. And they do a lot of, they talk a lot about sports and um, they they even do now David on um, what he did on Barstool Sports. Now now this actually spiked his popularity a lot is when he would do um, pizza reviews and the way he would do them he'd be like what well, one bite everybody knows the rules and because of that his popularity has spiked and um, Overall, people really found his stuff entertaining o overall, and that's why people flocked to him. On the Pizza Review show, pretty much is it was what it was called. It, it, it was a show on YouTube, but on the show, he, he also featured special guests. And, well, special guests. I mean, the, these guests that he featured on the show were very big and popular people. Um, Tucker Carlson, Kevin Hart. Um, he's also featured John Taffer, who's a consultant at Bar Rescue. He's the main guy, he, you know, can, he's the main Bar Rescue consultant at Bar Rescue. And, um, and uh, yeah, he, he's collabed with many, many more big names um, with, with this... Um, pizza show that he's created. He's collabed with so many famous people. Uh, however, when the pandemic hit uh, and the formula for David's, David's uh, pizza show got old, uh, it got old and um, people overall were just bored. I mean, his humor was nice. His humor was great. I mean, he, he was a bit arrogant at this point, but once again, we'll talk about that um, l later in the video. Um, yeah, the, overall, the pandemic slowed down the amount of uploads he did for the pizza review show. Cause like you had to be quarantined and overall his, um, hit his views pretty much have flatlined on, like his views have gone down tremendously on the barstool pizza review thing. However, however, to, um, to cover up that. David has had so many successes throughout his career, and even recently, he he has done well. In the recent years, in the recent years, he has done very well and has made and has made a lot of money. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, sit back and relax. Charge your phones, or yeah, charge your phones. Grab some popcorn because today we're going to be talking about um, how David once fell off the map in terms of popularity, and how he rose up the ranks again. Um, with this charm. Anyways, let's begin. So for Barstool's, so for the brand Barstool Sports that, that he created, um, he started doing this um, YouTube show called, um, basically it was called One Bite Pizza Reviews. And um, he started it in around, in about, I'd say, like around 2014, 2015-ish. And what he, basically, what he would do in the show is, um, yeah, he start, I don't know when he really started the show. He started it once again, I think around the time of 2015, but... But, but I don't know. Anyways, what he would do in the show is he would go to a pizza restaurant, take one bite of the pizza, and then give it a score out of 10. And, um, and, and in each episode, he, he always had a bright energy about him. Um, he had a comedic personality, and he featured, he also featured big names, well-known people in some of his episodes. 
And because of that, um, da- David Portnoy's, um, Portnoy's popularity spiked even further. It, it continued to go up because of that. Things seem to be going well for the show. Well, except for the fact that that in the re- that in recent years, um, th- there's a lot that's been happening. There's been the pandemic. There's been a cu- there's been a couple of mishaps in um in Portnoy's career as well, and um, the show overall began to decline because of around 2020 when the pandemic hit. The show. The show's average views um, they dipped a little. They dipped about twenty five to thirty percent, and um, overall, he kind you know the show started to kind of lack a little, especially because um, the shows began to like, the episodes of the pizza show that Dave was doing. Uh, uh, so he um, the the sh- the episodes to the show that he was doing. They began to feel just very low budget and just, just, just lackluster. They, they just didn't have um, the substance that the old, that the um, older um, one bite pizza review episodes had. They lacked a lot. As, the reason why they lacked a lot in these recent episodes is because he's at home. He's not actually at these places reviewing the pizza. So, so that's so that's why it it's pretty clear to see why this show was starting to take a dump but but you know and and the show nowadays the views are r- really really dipping and the the channel is on, the the over and the one bite um the one bite pizza review channel is is dying out a lot but um that's not the only thing to talk about with David. As the recent bad years then came, Dave's attitude and and overall his ego was not really in check at this time, and his attitude uh, seemed to have um, definitely worsened. An example of this would be um, at the time. So in December 2018, at the at the NYC ball drop um, in Times Square. At the Times Square ball drop, Ninja was there. And, and he was just kind of overall just being himself. Being himself. Being an icon. At the time, he was an icon. And clips of Ninja being at uh, Times Square then began to surface online. And David, David Portnoy reacted to this. Just not in the ways we all expected. He kind of just then insulted Ninja and and didn't really credit him. Um, Dave didn't really credit Ninja for his success. Overall, at this time, uh, Portnoy looked down, made fun of, and didn't take didn't take Ninja seriously. Take a look at this clip that I found. David insulting someone else's someone else's success and. The, their presence at Times Square uh, in 2018, like like at the end of 2018, that insult by David didn't seem like much at first, but um, it definitely kind of it, he became enemy number one in a lot of people's eyes because of this. However, another example of his declining attitude is this. You'd see this fucking mug, hundred and fucking men. They kicked me out. They cuffed me. Walk with it. That just shows overall that that he clearly had an attitude problem when that was happening. <laughs> 